You know what I've decided? I absolutely love the sound of train horns now. Good morning, Get Wrecked for Recovery crew. So it's day 59 of the Redeeming Eden Cycle Tour. R-E-C-T, Get Wrecked for Recovery. A 48 state, four year ride for addiction recovery awareness. Each day I pedal for someone who's passed away from addiction and the whole end goal is to build a rehab. And this is state number four, Montana, on the Ride to Ragbri 2022. A 4,500-mile loop around the Midwest, Ohio to Erie Trail, Michigan's Upper Peninsula, Glacier National Park, Yellowstone National Park, and East to Ragbri the last week of July. And it's all to raise awareness that addiction recovery options are available, that you don't have to die in your addiction. There's churches, celebrate recoveries, and rescue missions all over the nation, all over the world that just want to help you, talk to you, and love you if you find yourself battling addiction. Uh, so yeah, here at the Hysham Park, uh, there's the old Hysham Pool, uh, the Hysham Lion. I'll never forget this place. I'll never forget this 28-mile strip from yesterday. Uh, had a great night last night. Put the tent down right here and got some super peaceful sleep. Uh, today, I'm going to head west like 25 miles to Custer. Uh, it looks like there's a park there in town that I can stay at. Again, I'll have to get in contact with the sheriff's department, make sure that everything's okay with that. If not, I'm sure I can find some BLM land or whatever I need to do. Uh, I like the town parks, though, because they make me feel safe, secure. There's water, there's food around, all those kind of things. Um, it looks like the next day in between that is going to end up being maybe just the side of a river somewhere. And I've talked to Mason, and he's actually now going to pick me up on the second so I've only got to go 75 miles over six days. So uh, there will be two zeros. One the last day for sure. I'm just going to take a full zero. Uh, but I'll continue to figure everything out. It does look like the winds are going to pick up to 25 miles an hour either tomorrow or the next day. I don't remember which one it was. So there will be a day there where I'm, I plan on you know taking a zero there and then continuing to push forward. Um, I actually kind of like being this close to where I need to be because it's been restful and I've been able to actually get the things done that I need to get done. Anyway, that's enough of me talking. I'm going to get on the road. Uh, it's supposed to rain this afternoon. I'd like to beat that. If not, hey, I need a shower anyway. It's four days now since I've had one and it's looking like it's going to be quite a few more. Uh, so it's one of the things about bike touring. You got to take what you get. And I'm going to take what I can get on that bike right about now and that's what you're about to see. Let's go. Go top oven, got you one more time. I think mar in Spanish is the sea, right? So I think your uh, your ocean may be right this way. <laughs> Love you, brother.
All right, so I just rolled into Junction City Memorial Park. It's actually a pretty nice pavilion here. Bunches of picnic tables, all kinds of cool stuff. There's like cattle across the road that I can sit here and watch tonight. Um, yeah, I feel really comfortable about this. Uh, the sheriff earlier when I talked to him on the phone was like, ah, uh, you can't camp in Custer. And so I was like, okay, so I figured I'd just ride here anyway. And when I got here, there's a sign that says camping overnight to use the bathrooms and then it lists names. So I called the gas station and the gas station is sending someone over to unlock them. How cool is that? So it's totally allowable uh, and I'm going to do it. There's even like a grill. There's no grocery store, I don't think, but hey, I could cook if I wanted to. Uh, I will probably sit down and start working on this video, get it cut, edited. It's just been kind of a rainy, wet, cold day. Um, I just took it slow today. Processed a lot, thought about a lot, did a lot, and uh, yeah, had, had a couple good phone calls. Um, it's been good. It's been good. Uh, rain always makes things kind of melancholy, so I guess that's the best way to describe the day-to-day -day melancholy. I'm still super excited I get to see my family, but it's like now that I'm so close, I'm, I'm just ready for that to happen. So yeah, I'm going to end the video here uh, for the day. Go ahead and get it out. Um, get my stuff situated so that I can sleep tonight. And then yeah, I'll uh, post to Facebook, do the things that I need to do. And you guys will know that because it'll already be done. So yeah, good stuff. Anyway, if you know anybody who's passed away from addiction in any form or fashion, Please drop their name in the comments or find me through the Papa link in the description. And I would love to ride for your person and celebrate their life with you for a day. If you know anybody who's actively addicted, anybody in general, just share this with them. Thank you so much, Get Wrecked for Recovery Crew. Every one of you that is liking every video, commenting on every video, sharing every video, and those of you that are subscribed to the YouTube channel. The analytics love it. I do too. And who knows, it might save a life. Uh, don't forget Redeeming Eden is a nonprofit ministry through International Gospel Outreach. That link is also in the Papa link. You can go there and find out more about Redeeming Eden and about the Cody Jordan Forever Funeral Fund, which is a fund I started to help families that lose loved ones to addiction with paying funeral costs. So yeah, from here at the Junction City Memorial Park, built in 1905 in Custer, Montana. I love you guys. Jesus loves you. I'll see you later. Have a good night.